This is an overview of Scrum Programs for Agile Development 2.0. Scrum Programs is an efficient tool for planning and tracking short-term or continuous projects for multiple teams. The planning board helps you see teams' workloads and dependencies and lets you plan work for multiple teams across sprints. To begin using Scrum Programs, admins must first activate the Scrum Programs plugin from the Application Manager. After the plugin is activated, you can begin planning your Scrum programs. To create a Scrum program, navigate to Scrum programs and click New. After completing the program, you can now start planning work. To start planning for the new Scrum program, navigate to Agile Board. Scrum program planning boards have a centralized view that enables you to see what work is assigned to multiple teams across sprints. You can also select different programs and backlogs to view and plan for. The planning board displays sprint start dates, varied lengths, the name of each sprint, and each team's workload. To modify program details of the planning board, click the edit icon. You could determine a sprint's workload capacity by the color of the workload bar. If the bar is red, you should review the workload. To adjust the workload, move a story to a sprint with available bandwidth. If your program doesn't have any teams, you can add a team from the planning board. From the planning board, you can also view your epic backlog. To select a backlog, click the drop-down. After a backlog is selected, you can view unscheduled stories in the backlog for each team. You can also create a story from the backlog panel and view unplanned stories for the entire program. To unplan a story from the planning board, move it to the backlog where it will go back to its corresponding epic. On the backlog page, you can see any existing epic backlogs and filter them based on product. You can also create a new epic here or add stories to an existing epic. The backlog page also has a drop-down menu where you can select other epic backlogs. Back in the planning board, we can add sprints to a team. You can specify the sprints details and the new sprint will appear on the planning board. Now you can add stories to it. Sprints on the planning board contain story cards. You can move these cards to assign them to other teams or plan them into sprints. Click the story card to learn more about the story. You can also assign dependencies to the story right here on the planning board. Story cards also contain indicators with information about the story and its place in the sprint. Let's look at some indicators. An open circle on the left means the story is not complete, while a check mark signifies a complete story. A colored circle on the right shows which epic the story belongs to. A red X on the left side means the story is currently blocked. The icon next to the short description indicates the type of record. The number on the right displays the number of story points. Story cards with a colored band on the left are associated with a prerequisite story. A colored band on the right means the story has an associated dependent story. You can use the planning board to set, view, and adjust dependencies between stories across multiple teams. To view the dependencies between stories, click the configuration icon and select the dependencies checkbox. Dependencies that are in the wrong order will appear red. To correct the dependency, adjust the scheduling of the stories. Now we see how Scrum programs for agile development can help you plan work across teams and timelines. For more information, see our product documentation or knowledge base, or ask a question in the ServiceNow community.